hello people this is code grind and in today's video we'll be creating a page transition effect uh, which will be full of animations now this will be very interactive if you use this in your websites so let's see how this works here i've got a link to navigate to the about us page currently we are in the index.html uh, let's just see like this is the index.html page we are in right now when i click on this about us page we get this animation and we switch to the about.html page you can see in the url we have navigated let's go back reload it and click on it again we get this animation again and the about us page is here so this might look like a very complicated program but it is a very simple feature which you can add in your web pages so let's get straight into it So I've got this basic layout ready. I've linked an external CSS file in which we'll be doing all the styling part. Now let's get started with the HTML part. First, we'll have a div with a class container. We'll wrap all our things inside this div, and then let's design the content. First, we'll have a heading like page transition animation. We've got this heading over here. Then we'll have an anchor with a class of link and it will navigate us to the about.html page the text here will be about us this is it for the content now we'll have our three different layers inside a div called transition so here i am using uh, emmet abbreviations uh, to write uh, these are actually short syntaxes uh, through which you can write uh, big html lines if you want to learn all about them i'll give a link in the description of my crash course on emmet abbreviations watch it and you can learn all about them so these will be our three layers this is it for the html part now let's get started with the styling so we'll start writing our css by nullifying the browser's default settings margin 0 padding 0 box sizing of border box and at last the font family of poppins if you want to use the same font for your web pages then i'll give a link in the description from where you can download and install this font in your system now let's design the body First, give it a background color of 09191. This is a good background color if you want to work in dark mode. Now, let's design uh, place all this at the exact middle of our page. It is just a four line code for that. Justify content center, min height of 100 vh, and at last, uh, align items of center. So, this is it. Now, let's design our content. Give it a color of white and then a text a line of center and at last a text transform of uppercase so this is it for the content now let's design the anchor tag so first we'll give it a display of inline block then we'll remove that underline from it and then a color of white let's see how it looks it looks good right now but the text hasn't transformed to uppercase for this one so we'll give it a text transform of uppercase with this also then we'll give it a actually oh uh, we i by mistake i provided it with text transform of none while i should have given it a text decoration of none so now it's good there was just a silly mistake from my side now a border one pixel solid white then let's add some padding it's very congested right now and let's give it some width now 200 pixels and the margin top of 1m this looks good uh, till now and right now when i hover over it uh, we get this cursor pointer as well so it looks all over all good right now but on hovering we need to give some transitions to it like we can change the color to 09191 and the background color to white so for that we also should provide it with a transition of 0 0.3 seconds on ease let's hover over it we don't see anything right now oh there's a spelling mistake over here so we get this transition this is it for the content now let's design our layering so for that we'll first select our every cover so if you might remember every cover has two classes cover 
cover one cover cover two cover cover three so the cover class is applied to all of them so we'll give it a position of fixed and then a height of 100 vh and a width of 100 vw so that it takes up the entire window now let's give it some background color for say teal so that it will be easier for you to understand now we need to get a top zero a uh, left zero so that it covers the entire window but right now we don't want it to be visible so we will give it a left of minus 100 vw yeah, this is it for the covers uh, one last thing we need to give it a z index of 1000 you can give it whatever mag is the maximum for your web page so that it sits upon the top of everything now let's design the first cover we'll just change the background colors it will be sky blue and then the second cover this will have a background color of teal only and then at last the cover 3 I have selected a background color for this which is hashtag 094992 yeah now we need to give them some animation so let's uh, use an animation for 0 0.3 uh, the name will be slide for 0 0.3 seconds ease and out let's define the animation now the keyframes slide so from uh, the from will be the initial position which is left minus 100 vw and give it a 2 of left 0 so you see uh, we get this animation but it doesn't stick at last it vanishes uh, just after the animation is completed so for it to stick we need to give it a, with a keyword forwards now when i hit save it sticks at the last of the animation now let's give it to every one of them here so we get this animation but now we need to provide every other animation with the animation delay so that we can see every uh, layer this one we this one have will have an animation delay of 0 0.3 seconds because it should start only when the first animation is completed and this one will have an animation delay of 0 0.6 seconds because it will start when the when these two animations have completed let's hit save and now we get this a transition but we want this transition to take place only when this anchor tag is clicked on whenever i reload this this animation takes place but we don't want that so for that uh, what we will do is we will go to our javascript part we will select the link that is the anchor tag by the document dot query selector dot link and we will also select the transition div transition document dot query selector dot transition so in the transition uh, div we have all these three layers now whenever the link is clicked on so for that link dot event listener click and now what we want is this animation to take place so for that uh, we need to give uh, the transition a class we need we will add a class of slide to this uh, transition div and in here also we will make some changes dot transition dot slide so this animation will take place only when the transition div has the class slide and when will that transition have class slide only when this link is clicked on so this is how we can prevent the animation every time when the page is reloaded yeah now when i click on it it gets navigated to the next page this is the about of uh, about.html page and we don't see the animation so to prevent it from navigating what we will do is we will pass an event on clicking and we will event dot prevent default so this will prevent the by default event which is of navigating to the next page you can use this event dot prevent default to prevent forms from submitting as well there can be a lot of jobs for this function now when i hit on this about us this animation takes place and it is not navigated to the about.html page now after the animation is completed we want this to navigate but right now it uh, it is not navigated because we have given it with the event.prevent default so the animation takes a complete time of 0 0.9 seconds 0 0.3 seconds for each layer so after 0 0.9 seconds 
we will have to redirect it to the about.html page so after 0.9 seconds that is 900 milliseconds we will redirect by window.location is equal to link.href so in that in this link.href what we will have is this href of this anchor tag so now when i hit save i click on it animation takes place and we are redirected to the about.html page so this is how you can give this transition effect by switching between two pages to your website and it looks very innovative now if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and thank you for watching